I'm Michelle Sklar and we're at TEDxYYC at the Grand Theater in Calgary. And I am joined by David Damberger, who is with Engineers Without Borders and was one of the presenters at the event today. Thanks so much for joining us. No, thank you very much. It's been a fantastic experience. Yeah, well, your presentation was amazing and I particularly liked your you know, cool manipulation of your slideshow presentation. Okay. That was uh, very, very cool. Um, well, let's start off you know, for viewers that are just tuning in for the first time. What exactly is Engineers Without Borders? Uh, Engineers Without Borders is a non-government organization and we're, we're Engineers Without Borders Canada. Uh, and what we're focused on is improving the overall delivery of aid um, to the developing world and improving sort of, people talk about the two challenges with poverty. One is that people are in absolute poverty, which is a horrendous uh, uh, challenge. The second one is the development sector that's trying to make that, to help solve that problem. And we're really focused on improving that sector, both in Africa as well as in Canada. So tell us really quickly maybe about one or two initiatives that can kind of explain, you know, some of the things that Engineers Without Borders does. Well, we're really trying to make the sector more innovative. And so the one I talked about in my TED Talk today was about publishing our failures. And so it's around this idea that I think when we first started as Engineers Without Borders, we thought it was all about technology and technology was going to solve poverty. And we started doing that for a long time and it was only when we started failing and realizing we kept failing over and over and over because a lot of the technology was not uh, being maintained or was not integrated into the cultural or the social sides of the co of those communities. And we started realizing it needs to be more about technology, but it was only with these failures that we started to learn what we were doing wrong and actually change what we do. And so today I spoke about uh, admitting failure and how, first, how difficult it is because you can lose your funding from donors if they know that, if they, if they think that their money's not having impacts, but also about the power of the lessons of, of failure and then how you can learn and evolve and, and uh, adapt your organization. Um, and then, I mean, the, uh, the startup world has embraced this failure uh, side of things because they know it's a fallacy to think that you can get the answer right the first time. And so it's more about innovating and learning. So let me ask you, you live in Toronto? Uh, yeah. And are you from Ontario? No, I'm from Calgary. You're from Calgary, I'm okay, right, because your father is here, right, okay. So what community did you grow up in in Calgary? Uh, Edgemont. Edgemont. Have you been back to Edgemont since you've been home at all or back there been, recently? Yeah, yeah. Okay. at the time it was the edge of the yes. Calgary and now it's like in the center of it, so yeah. It's crazy. You know, one of the things that we're, uh, you know, we've been talking about today, um, you know, sort of in the networking break here is about, you know, what community we're from and what we like about that community or what we want to see improve. So, you know, reflecting on, I mean, you get to travel the world and you've certainly been engaged in some pretty amazing community activity, but bringing it home, what's something that's happening in Edgemont that either you're like, wow, that's amazing or we need to be doing more than that? That's a good question. Um, uh, <laughs> ah. Hi, you got me. I, honest, I've just visited. I don't even know what's going on in the community of Edgemont right now. Um, or maybe the community but I think, live in Toronto. Yeah, I think uh, interesting things that are going on there is they're having a lot more, um, creating more community space. Uh, and I think it's getting more space for people to live. I think especially in the suburbs, everyone just kind of goes home and commutes into their, and lives in their house, then commutes to a downtown or to a core and creating spaces where communities can get together and interact. So um, any, any sort of, uh, even creating strip, uh, streets just for pedestrians, I think is a really interesting way of doing that. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate that. Uh, we're here at TEDxYYC in Calgary, and I'm Michelle Sklar.